Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 and let's just continue where we left off. And I now know that we are but a skip and a jump away from the Risen Road. Huh? Why did you do a survival thing there? Well... Anyway, we can jump here. Oh, nice. Camp supplies. Ooh. Those all seem uh, useful. Even more supplies. Oh, hello, hyena. Well, that's interesting. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Well, it was definitely not the hyenas. Hello. Beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. Hmm. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts um. to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Feel sorry for the hyenas. Nulls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Yep, I mean, uh... Let's do that one. Nice. That was definitely success, yeah. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too. Stillborn. Yeah, well. Better for us. Okay. That's one down. Come on, can't stay idle. Fall by my hand. And another one down. This won't be quick. That hyena's run off the help. If we have you go there. Can you do that? Oh. <laughs> Not perfect. Unfortunately, you can't reach that one. Oh boy. Well, that's not great. Sometimes the only way out is through. Yeah, unfortunately, we kind of have to go up here now. Oh, uh, boy. Forever darkness. Finding my way. Got to concentrate. Heading there. Um. Let's do that. Can you reach any of them? Hmm. Can try. 
Darn it. Still breathing, despite everything. You picked the wrong fight, friend. <laughs> well, that's that one gone. Just all of those left. Charm you? <laughs> no, probably less than ideal. something I'm ready got to press on yeah, it's too early to do any healing can we do that oh could try Starian. Can't even catch my breath. <laughs> ah, darn it. Ah, that's rude. Well, thankfully, that one missed. Nice. Very nice. Can we attack that one that's up there? Maybe. Today you Can try. Nice. Let's end this. Oh, it's just the two of you left. Okay. Let's start heading up there. Very nice. Well done, Astarian. Think you can take me on? Really? Miss? At least you hit there. Ouch. That was painful. Two steps at a time. I reckon they've infested the entire coast. Take your Well, that didn't really help much, but I feel like maybe we should uh, have a little rest. I'm sure that could be useful. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that uh, certainly did not serve him very well. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go to camp. Uh, yeah, let's do that, actually. 
exactly. Okay, so we need to head that way. Uh, sure. And that hyena's been burnt. Interesting. Oh. More gnolls. Oh. How lovely. How about we check down here? See what we can find down this road. Uh, oh, we are inside the circle now. So, uh, Karlak should be somewhere around here. Uh, oh. Hello, Karlak. What's up for discussion? Well, well, well. How the Blade of Frontiers has changed. I thought you hunted devils, Will. Not innocence. Were all those people in the Druid's Grove monsters? It was the only monster you. Karlak, he didn't attack them. Diaboli. I won't be lectured on monsters by Zariel's servant. What happened in the Grove was a horror. One I won't ignore. But nor will I let a devil roam the coast unchallenged. Please. The only devils here are you lot. Excuse me. Listen, it was all a misunderstanding. We didn't mean for them to die. You're not the worst liar I've ever met. <laughs> but you're daft as a brick if you think I'm going to believe that. Yeah, well, it's the truth, so. If Will is wrong about you, prove it. Lay down your weapon and we will too. Okay. Phew! Nice. You back away first, all right? One false move and you're dead. I've more important things to do today than kill a rat. Get the fuck out of here. Now. Before I change my mind. As for the Blade of Frontiers, you fashion yourself a hero, but you lie down with dogs like this. Excuse me. It's just pathetic. Well, I am confused. I did read up a little bit not a lot but a little bit on recruiting Karlak and it said something about you should disarm the situation between her and Will that's what I tried to do and she was just rude and people said that oh yeah she's such a lovely character okay yeah fine yeah sure very lovely calling me a rat and dog and yeah uh, Honestly, mm, at the moment, I basically feel she can screw herself. The you have devil anything to with say? The silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. Hmm. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. Of course. But his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Sure. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Don't worry. I have no interest in a devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. 
But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Honestly, to avoid becoming one of those, I would probably uh, rather cease to exist. Pretty much. Unfortunately, that did not help me. Uh. Pretty sure I told you to fuck off, mate. Uh, fine, I guess I won't do this quest then. I'm pretty sure that that uh, moves me to part two or whatever it's called. Oh! That's the temple. Heh. <laughs> well, that will be tricky. How will I get back in there? There is a ton of goblins here. I doubt that that one leads anywhere of interest. I mean, guess could check to see if there's any way to get there. Sure, since I'm not gonna care about Karlak anymore. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Something over there. Not sure why it auto saved what I'm close to. I mean, I know that there's supposed to be a guard tower with people that want to kill Karlak. Paladins, I believe. Uh, that's about all I know. Hello. Hmm. That symbol in the blood. What does it mean? What oh. to do? I don't know. I can't seem to do anything with it, so uh, I'm guessing you can't do anything here either, right? Oh. Well. Oh boy. Hear that? Someone's fighting the gnomes. We should help. Yes, Go please do. You fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Okay. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Oh, that was unfortunate. Well, at least he hit. There too, huh? Let's do this. 
Okay. Come on, do your things, hyenas. Um, okay. Feels like that one is running away. Yourself to blame for being counter attacked there. At least that's that one gone. Get a little bit closer. Not nice. Not nice at all. Ouch. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunate that it managed to uh, keep its concentration. Thinking, huh? Good. Hurting, though. Take it easy there, Noel. One less. The blade will not bend. Can we go for that one? Uh, doesn't look like it. Can we go for this one then? Well, it could, but it missed, so. Nice. Please do. Thank you. Parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Uh, I need to rest. A sunset can't come quickly enough. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do with this, huh? I think that was the one I was interested in. Yep. We're gonna need to rest. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. <laughs> Are any of my crew still alive out there? Uh, don't think so. No. All I saw was blood and guts. Damn it. I guess that's a no. 
Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. <laughs> you should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. I mean, I have no reason to wonder what he's got in there. And I'm not going to intimidate them, so leave. We need to rest. And I am not talking a short one. We need a long rest. Yep. Yes. Oh boy. I guess I should talk to everyone. Speak up. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Yep. Well, this gets better and better. <laughs> Shop around, he said. <laughs> he seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Well, I mean, we haven't really come across much. He's not. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone that liked to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. I mean, he might be very sure that he can. That doesn't mean that it, it couldn't happen that we find a solution. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This True. is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Yep. Very true. Uh, right, Shadow Heart is in here. Bloody hells. <laughs> Literally. Yep. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Yeah, hopefully. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I kind of feel like picking one of those. I mean, I highly doubt that he, you know, would do it out of the kindness of his heart because, no, he's a devil, so. No, he has an ulterior motive. Obviously. So yeah, I mean, it would be that one. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Yeah, but I can't. I'm not going to change my mind. We can't trust Raphael. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Good. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Yep. So who are Shara's enemies who receives this treatment? There are many. But they all renounce their gods when they are taught fear. Watch out for that devil. You seemed intrigued when Halson mentioned Dark Justicars before. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across Sorry, other justicias. signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. That artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Good. Curious that you just happen to have an item that can protect us. How did you come by it? 
I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. Obviously. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Admirable conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. Mm, let the matter drop. And leave. I've got other people to talk to. Hello, Halson. Oakfather's blessings to you. Uh, sure. <laughs> I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, mm. but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. At the celebration with the tieflings before, I hope I didn't come over too strong got caught up in the moment there are few things that are too strong for me and cast those regrets aside you did not get caught up in the moment you seized it in other circumstances i would have done the same i'm glad i didn't leave a bad impression then a bad impression <laughs> impossible how are you faring out here at camp with such stimulating company Never better. Uh, oh, I did not want to do that. Hello, Gail. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. You have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. <laughs> I think he wants something from us. Yeah, Badly. obviously. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Well, what is it that this devil wants so very badly? Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Obviously. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Yeah, he Devils wants it. aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Anyway, um, uh, ah, <laughs> I thought I was missing someone. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't talk to Lazelle. This devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a <laughs> dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Kithrak, what does that mean? Githyanki knights, the riders uh -huh. that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor. And I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Why were these knights chasing the Mind Flayer ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not okay. unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. 
to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Might have something to do with the uh, artifact that Shadowheart stole. After all, she did steal it from your people. Anyway, uh, let's rest. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Hello. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. Um. I, looks like you're I a vampire. Hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. Yep. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. And I already knew that. How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Boars. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. <laughs> okay. That's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. <laughs> a strange <sighs> sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can. Trust <laughs> you were trying to steal blood from me. But yeah, I mean, you've helped us so far. And I mean, I definitely don't want to lose you because you are a great ranger. You know, I need you. I need your bow and your arrows. So let's go for that. I do. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me <laughs> just... <laughs> A little further. I only need a taste. I swear. <sighs> Fine. But not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? <laughs> sure. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. That's enough. Definitely success. <laughs> Finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. It shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. See you that you don't. He stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Come, there are in force. Oh, hello. And oh, hello, Scratch. Talk to you later. Good morning. How do you feel? I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. I'm sure it will. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. Mm. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. <laughs> that sounds sucky. <laughs> Is that how you can stand in the sun, because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. 
I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Wow. Someone or something wants ah, to be Like the they tadpole? The rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's causing this? The Mind Flayer's parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. <laughs> Although there's still time. Hunting with vampires. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wisecracks about having us for supper. <laughs> I just Looks like he was looking forward to, to that. Fangs at my throat. Uh, I'm hoping he'll keep to me if he needs to feed off of any of us. Uh, I'm gonna go for that one just because, I mean, that is basically what I said before. I want him in my team. Enough. We need him, like it or not. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell. <laughs> nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Oh, sure. Scratch. I see you, Scratch. Hi, Scratch. Hi, boy. You good boy. Definitely will help keep spirits up. Yes, Gail. You hungry again? condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. I mean, I don't know if I have anything, but we can see. Oh, do have that one. Thank you. Strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Ah. Gail, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time. Like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Okay. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Uh -huh. Sure. I am going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.